Hey everybody, happy gratitude week friends. Jody Breckville Stampin' Queen here. I am live in my studio, so hello everyone. Just hands today. Um, it has been quite a day for me, starting so early. Me and this time change, not, not, not getting along very well. So if you are on my Facebook group this morning, you'll, you'll see my post that I put up. Um, but yeah, so I've been up since three o'clock. You would think I have gotten a lot done, but I, um, I did not get a lot done, including shower. So I did not shower yet because I'm going to take my walk after this. And um, so anyway, come on in, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, friends. So happy to see you guys. Hopefully you are enjoying Gratitude Week. We are at hump day today, Wednesday. So I will be live Thursday and Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern time. And if you're catching the replay, that's cool. Just make sure you comment replay so that I know you are here and I can come back and say hi. So just a couple quick reminders. We have a daily prize patrol this week. Uh, every day this week, I have a grand prize, which is somebody at the end is going to win all the projects that I made this week. I have an adhesive sale going on. I have my All About Autumn uh, So Sincere special class that is happening now. And what else? Fun. We have fun. Yes, it's been fun hanging out with you guys. So just a quick reminder, adhesive sale. This is my special. So if you go to shop online and you're like, what the heck, Stampin' Up, you didn't give me a free adhesive. That's because it's just me, Jody B. So buy five, get one free adhesive sale. If you want to take advantage of that, just hit me up and let me know. That's available now through Sunday because um, we're going to wrap up Gratitude Week on Sunday. And then, of course, the gorgeous all about autumn class that we did on Monday. So if you missed Monday, go back and rewatch because I showed you all of the projects. And then of course you're getting half a pack of the gorgeous all about autumn paper. So if you did not have a chance to get this paper or if you need to hoard more, you want to take this class because you're going to get half a pack and I do have it. Um, so it is sold out. Like it is gone, gone. We will not be getting any more in. And of course, this is, this is way less than half a pack. This is just what I'm down to because I have played so hard with this gorgeous paper. So here are your projects. You'll get everything that you need to create those. There's our really pretty double paper. Inside is pretty. Outside is pretty. We got some pumpkins. We have the walk and then this cute little fun fold. Okay, so those you will get everything that you need to make all of those projects. Uh, you will need to do some embossing and you will need to do your own stamping. So sincere is the sentiment set that I used and you can add that on or use your own, no problem. So that is in the holiday mini catalog. Also, you'll get a pack of the speckled gems. They are back in stock and I snagged them for you guys. So you will get those as well. Now, yesterday I kept forgetting to talk about prize patrol. So we did, we do have a daily prize. I will tell who everybody, tell everybody who the winners are at the end of the week. So today I have got Stampin' Seal Plus for some lucky ducky. So all you need to do is like, love, comment on my video. If you share it, you're going to get an extra ticket. So stop back probably Saturday. I'll do that because that gives the people time. You know, I know some of you guys are West Coast, so it's really early for you guys. That gives you time, the replayers, to come back and watch. So like, love, comment, double tickets for share. Now, what are we going to do today, kids? What shall we do today? I have every now and then I have big play days. And uh, last week was a play day with these guys. So they are in our holiday catalog. This is Berry Christmas, page 22 and 23 of the holiday catalog. And th they are so cute. I had my bingo and we used the memories and more because some of this stuff was sold out, but it's back in stock and we are ready to roll. I think the only thing we're waiting on might be some gems. They, they may be um, on their way in, but the memories and more are stinking cute. The paper is adorable. And this actually is going to be what I'm using for my Christmas stamp -a stacks So my last stamp -a stack is the Monday after Thanksgiving. That's November 27th in person. So I think maybe 
tomorrow or Friday, the information will go out via email and on my social media. So if you're close to me, you can actually come and join me for class and I would love it. If you're not close to me, you can actually get to go kit. So I have a virtual option. So look for that information coming out tomorrow. Or if you know for sure that you are all in on the Berry Christmas class, message me and let me know and I'll get you all the details. So let's rock out these cards. Oh my gosh, you guys, you cannot see what I see because I wondered why the dog was a little grumbly. The UPS man just showed up and one, two, three, four, there are seven boxes of Stampin' Up! on my porch. Woohoo! Party time, excellent. Okay, so we're gonna make this really cute one. This is very, very simple. I am a simple girl, okay? I love just making quick and cute cards. Now I'm gonna do a one that's a little bit more advanced here, but I do not, I love y'all that are totally creative and do these amazing projects, um, but I am all about quick and simple that I can get something gorgeous and be able to use it. So we have got a little flip flop card and I made it into a gift card holder because you guys know what season is coming. And if you have adult children like I do, that's all they want. They want the monies. So I want to make sure that it is nice and pretty. Okay, so we're going to start off. Oh, my memory. <laughs> my, um, well, I may have to just see this. Let's see. This is scored at three inches. Okay, thank goodness I make templates. I make these so long ago and then I totally forget um, what the, the um, scoring is. Now, I will post the the, um, I get this confused every time I will post the dimensions in the description. So once the video airs, you guys can go back and you can pull up the video. You don't have to rewatch and write things down. I will actually put that in the description so that you'll know what size it is and where to score everything. So balmy blue is what we're working on. And then this one I know is eight, so I can score at four. So that I think is everything that we need for now. So we're going to fold this flap over. So this is our front flap here. And we're going to add a piece of the designer series paper with these cutie little paw prints. Is that not adorable? I love it. And of course we have guilt paper. That's what I call it. Whenever you have guilty feelings because you have to put adhesive on the pretty side, but then you want that side, but you like that side. So we always have a little bit of guilt associated with these gorgeous papers. Okay, so we have that on the front. I love that, so cute. And we have this for on the inside. So we'll put some snowflakes on the inside here. And I'm gonna use Misty Moonlight for my ink today. Hey friends, thank you so much for joining. Oh, I see lots of friends on today, I love it. All right, I always keep putting that off to the side and forgetting that you guys don't get to see it. So this is gonna be the panel that has our gift card. Now, if you don't want this to be a gift card holder, no worries. You don't have to put that little panel on the inside. Now, the one thing to keep in mind is it opens opposite. So you have a fold here and a fold here, okay? So that's how it's gonna open. So our white for the inside, and we'll do our misty moonlight here. I only want one snowflake at the moment. So we'll just stamp that. Oh, this looks like it might need some ink. My classes have been through many, many, or my, my uh, inks have been through many, many classes. And so some of them are getting a little bit, uh, they need some juice. They need some gin and juice. Ahead of time, I did a die cut of the scallop rectangle and we're gonna do warm wishes on here. So I kind of am digging this, that this necessarily does not need to be Christmas, right? This could be maybe you have a fall birthday that you need to give somebody something. Um, not fall, winter, right? Um, maybe you have someone who loves polar bears. So it doesn't necessarily have to be for Christmas. He just has his winter sweater on and there's a present there. So, you know, if you need to give a gift, it is definitely appropriate. So here's our white. There's where we can sign 
sign our name. And then I just had, these were just laying around. These are just some leftover strips. So I'm going to take a hole punch here. This one happens to be three quarters of a circle uh, or three, three quarter circle. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball a little bit in the middle and just punch a semicircle. That's going to be a little bit easier, like a finger hold to pull those out. Now, because of the size of a gift card and the size of this, I'm going to use my green glue. My adhesive is just a little bit too wide and I couldn't get my, um, my card to fit in there. So just a little bit of green glue as close as I can to the edge is going to do it. So dot, dot, not a lot. If my girls are on dot, dot, not a lot. You don't need much of that green glue. That is for sure. Just line it up there. I do like the green glue because you get a couple seconds where you can maybe kind of move it around a little bit if it's a little bit un uneven. Okay, there we are. Now I'm going to give that a couple seconds to dry. And what we're going to do, I totally wanted to do this ahead of time and I forgot. Um, we need to cut this guy out. I'm sorry, you're going to watch me do fussy cutting. It's probably as painful as watching paint dry. But here we go. These are pre-printed. Oh, that works with the punch, doesn't it? Ho oh, ho. I do believe I don't need to fussy cut. There's another one that I do, but I think All right, so here's what we're going to do. Okay, this is a tip. Tip time everybody. Hold the phone, time for a tip. So I can't, this is, it can't quite reach in there. First of all, I screwed it up because I have that, um, I did start to cut it a little bit, but I can't quite reach my finger in there. So what I'm going to do, I might need to cut this off. Hopefully I didn't screw it too badly. I'm going to take just a little piece of this designer series paper. I just need a little piece. I'm going to put some adhesive on here and make myself a handhold, right? So now I can slide that in there and hold it. Oh, my lanta. I'm, who didn't tell me that this bear matched this punch? Twada, perfection. Perfection. Oh, you sweet little bear. All right, must have had a brain fart there for a minute. Okay, so now we're going to add this adhesive on here. So there's another tip for you guys. Check your paper and see which bears the punch works with. I'm going to open this up and I'm just going to center it right inside here. Now we're going to add the rectangle with some dimensionals. Oh, I didn't bring any new ones to the table. I might have to go on a recon mission if we run out here because I've got three projects for you guys today. Two quickies and one not so quickie. Okay, dimensionals, or as we like to call them, Pop-Tarts. Hello, friends. Glad to have you. And if you're just coming on, hey, 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 you can always go back and watch the replay. Absolutely. All right, so you can see how this is going to work now, right? Okay, a little flip and flopper. I don't know if that's the official name, but that is what we are calling it today. So our little cute bear is going to get some dimensionals on as well. I think his name should be Frosty. Frosty the Snow Bear, that's what we're calling you. And he's got his cute little sweater on. So this guy's got the red sweater. The other guy has a green sweater. And he's just gonna hang out right here, marching across the page, offering some warm wishes to somebody. And then of course, your gift card can fit right on the inside. Now, as I said, if you don't want a gift card, just don't put that panel there. You're good to go. Oh, you guys are loving the bears. Yeah. Oh, it's the first sweet you got. Animal lovers, I think, always grab the ones with the cute little animals, right? So there's card number one. Um, whoever's going to win this does not get my Panera gift card. So too bad, so sad. No gift cards, but I will give you my project. All right, let's get the next one out. And here is the stamp set in the punch, in case you are wondering. Super cute. All right, so this one's a little bit of a different type of fold. 
So I've got some Misty Moonlight and Real Red. Okay, so I again, I will put the dimensions so you don't have to worry about that. You can come back and rewatch. And let's add this. My phone's ringing. It's a telemarketer, guaranteed. No one calls my home phone. All right, let's stamp Misty Moonlight. So what I did, another tip is I'm going to go ahead and put the two snowflakes together. So two birds, one stone, right? And just make some snowflakes falling here on the corners of our project. So I'm just going to do one. Now this is just a quarter piece, right? This is not actually a card base because like I said, it opens just a little bit differently. Okay, so next up is, uh, since I have this out, let's do our Merry Christmas. So that is on very vanilla this time. And that's just a little strip of scrap paper I had laying around. So we'll go ahead and stamp that because then we can be done. Close her up. And here's our red. Okay, so this is actually your card part. So we're going to add this to our card base. Just a little different. Sometimes it's fun to do different things, right? And I'm going to set it, offset it. I don't need it to be exactly in the middle. Some very vanilla for the inside. Then some of the DSP, which I love because I think it looks like a really fun sweater. So we've got that on the front. Okay, so that's how our card will open. Saves a little bit of cardstock too. So this is the bear that I was going to do, and he does not have a punch. So here we go. Like I said, I should have had these done ahead of time, but uh -uh. now this guy I did. He's got the he's got a sweater on with the bunny. He's not a punch either. So I did fussy cut him out. And so I love that they have little hats and scarves. So we're going to play with that here in a minute. <clears throat> and the trick to fussy cutting for me is paper snips. I love these paper snips. They are just the right size. And I can tell you as I get older, fussy cutting is not as joyful as it used to be when my eyeballs were working a little bit better. I still do it because sometimes there's just not a die or a punch. Got to do what you got to do, but it's getting tougher. Now I have a conundrum here, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do. We're going to go ahead and finish cutting out our little tree. And then we'll punch our sentiment and that will be it. This one could be a gift card holder as well. Just put some DSP or a little pocket. We even had gift card envelopes. Did you guys see those in the catalog? We have gift card envelopes. I think I have them laying right over here and I'll show them to you. Because they are super inexpensive. Decorate them up and put them on the inside of your, of your card. All right, we're getting down there. I'm in, a, I'm in the careful zone here. Careful bear, don't move. I'm cutting in the precarious area. There we go. Okay, so what I wasn't sure of, if I should drop down in here, but I don't think I want to. Like I could cut down and cut all this out, but I think that's gonna make it pretty wobbly. So let's not and say that we did. I was gonna see if I had those. Um, I wonder if I must have used them all. The get little gift cards, I wanted to show them to you. I used, oh, I did use them all. 
because I use them for Halloween treats because a little Kit Kat fit right in them. So yeah, I don't, oh, but here I can show, no, nope, are these them? Yes. There they are. So my friend Betsy made this. This was part of her 12 weeks of Christmas. So if you're on my emailing list, you guys got this as your 12 week of Christmas when she did the bears. And so these are the little gift card envelopes and they have a cute little flap. Now she decorated them and has little things tucked on the inside. But yeah, that's what they look like. We just trimmed it and did a punch there. Isn't that cute? Super cute. So yeah, little gift cards or gift card holders, I should say. All right, back on track. We're gonna use this punch right here and just slip that in and do a little banner, maybe. Perfect. Dimensionals, gotta have some dimensionals here. We're almost out, I may have to go I have to go and search. We'll see what we can do. Eek. Yeah. I have to search for them. All righty. Just add that little Merry Christmas right down. Oh, wait. How tall are you? Might have to go a little bit lower. Because I forgot. This guy is tall. So we'll add some dimensionals there. I had some right behind me. I must have been a little more prepared than I thought. All right. Look, it's cute. Cute, cute. Yeah. And then there's the little guy right there. Super sweet. All right. One more, everyone. In the meantime, do you guys want to see some other things that I created? I have a mess. I can't work with it. I just scoop it onto the floor. Get rid of it. Get rid of the mess. All right. So we've got one more and this is a special, this is a special card. It's called, I think it's called an accordion or a squeeze box card. So these are just some, I was planning my class, right? So I said, this is going to be my November stamp a stack is using the bears in the designer series paper. So I've been playing to kind of get some ideas. These are not the stamp a stack. Um, but these are just some of the ones that I was playing with. Loved the navy and the olive. Then I did that one with the tree. That's all part of the set. Here he is with his little beanie and his scarf on. And then I just used some of the blues. So those are some samples that I made with Mr. Mr. Bear. If you come back later, I'll be here Tuesday and Wednesday. Oh, you know what? I did write notes to myself. I got to get them because I don't remember this one. Okay, thank goodness. So we're still, not Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, I'm still here. So maybe I'll show you my samples for my stamp -a stack Okay, so this one is called the squeeze box card and using that designer series paper. Like an accordion, right? All right, so I'm going to show you how to make that one. We're going to start with a piece of paper that I don't know its size. Oh, that's the squeeze box card. That's fine. That's fine. All right, here we go. Sorry, guys. When I play, everything goes into piles, and then, you know, I slowly lose my mind because it was a while ago that I made things. <clears throat> Okay, so what we're gonna do is start off with this piece of Knight of Navy. Okay, so this is the back. That's this piece right here. And we need to make the front the exact same size, but we're going to, it's not the exact same size. We're gonna use this piece of designer series paper and another piece of Knight of Navy. Now I did emboss, so I took another piece and I wanted to add the snowflake I think it's called snow, snowfall. Uh-oh, we ran out. Snowflake embossing folder. So I'm going to do that now and add that along the edge just for a little bit of dimension. You do not have to, but I just liked having, oh, I have a light. Does this help? 
Is that better? Can you see a little bit better? I can also open my blind because I think I have some natural light coming in here. Oh, hello. Good morning, friends. <laughs> As I said, I've been up since three o'clock. So, um, all right. So what we need to do now, this can be a little bit tricky. So if you need to get something to kind of hold them together, you can. I seem to do okay. So I'm just going to make sure that these two are lined up exactly. It's a little tricky because it's navy on navy, right? But you're just gonna make sure that they are edge to edge. And I'm gonna take a smidgy of green glue and just run a strip right down across there. So this is a little bit of a lip. All right, so I'm keeping that nice and still. And then I'm gonna take this piece and line that up exact as well. So it should match and line up perfectly. Make sure it's good and sticky. We want it to definitely hold, okay? So now we have two pieces the same size. I've got a little bit, little bit extra there. So I think I can trim that down with this bad boy. And that's just, that was just me how I cut it. I cut it a little bit off. Okay, so these can set off to the side and we're gonna work with this one. This is the one that makes it do that. Okay, sun is coming on a little hard. Sorry, tried to get some natural light, but you know. Okay, so this buddy needs to be di or, um, scored at two and three quarter. five and a half and eight and a quarter. That's what we're hoping. I don't, I don't know. That feels odd, but that, that's what I wrote down. So we're going to go with it. Sometimes in my own head, I'm like, mm, are you correct? All right. So now we can look at it this way. So we're going to have that fold right in the middle and score that real good or burnish that real good. Then you're gonna take this one, fold back. And this one folds back, okay? So you have the mountain in the middle. Hopefully that's making some sense, okay? So it'll look like that when we go to attach it. So what we'll do now is work with these pieces of white. So they're gonna fit in the middle and we're gonna get ourselves some Nat of Navy. warm wishes right here and then some snowflakes okay so now we need to get out our little our little bear buddy and I didn't bring that that I can see I am missing memento. Well, I've got the red. Mm. Yeah, we'll go ahead. Thinking to myself, thinking to myself. All right, we'll add the little hat here. That's just going to sit on the end of that warm wishes. So there's his little cap. Now I do need to make my bear first. So I gotta go find a memento pad. Hold please. Okay, sorry about that. We got Memento Black because I want to do a little color. So I have another I have another tip coming up in case you're ready. Okay, let's stamp our little guy here. He's the sitting bear. Just sitting, waiting for Christmas to come. And then we have the moving bear. We'll stamp him on some scrap paper and we'll give him a punch. Now, I'm gonna, oh, it's, I've, I'm full of tips, are you ready? 
So when I first got this stamp set, it is a photopolymer, right? So it's the totally clear one. And I was stamping, I was not getting a good image. It was kind of very grainy looking. And when that happens, sometimes there can be a little bit of a coating from the process of how they're made. And I take a very light sanding block and I just lightly sand them and that just allows them to pick the ink up so much better. So if you have photopolymer and you're like, it's really just, you know, it looks kind of blotchy, like something's not quite right. Try that. It's very, very fine grit, I think. Uh, the sandpaper almost like a fine nail file. And I just lightly, very lightly go over top and it just kind of removes that little coating that sometimes they have from the making process. All right, now we're gonna add his scarf because he's cold. He is a polar bear after all. So there's his scarf to keep him warm. And I'm gonna let him here while we work with this guy. This little technique probably will not show real well on video. Hopefully, oh, I, uh oh, <laughs> I do have a new one. I knew we were getting low. And so what I like to do is take a light smoky slate, sl <laughs> speak, light smoky slate blend and do a little bit of outlining if it's real white. Like he is a white polar bear on white paper. And sometimes we wanna see a little bit of dimension. So I find that smoky slate, uh, light smoky slate, light crumb cake, light pool party can really make a big difference. So we're gonna add these to the inside panel. There you go, buddy. Okay, so what it'll look like is you're just gonna take that blend and you can do a trace if you want around the whole thing. I see where he's got some speckles on his booty and I also see where there's gonna be some shading that would be like from where he's, where he's sitting. A little bit under his chin, a little on his ears. Come on back around here for his boot. And there we go. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell. Can you guys see that it starts to give him a little bit of dimension because he's not now so white on white? Okay, so that's what it looks like. But to make it not so drastic, I come in with my, my uh, color lifter and now I just bleed that smoky slate. So it just kind of starts to lift a little bit of the color. Polar bears, too, if you look at them, like they're not real white. They're almost yellow. And so I have done a couple polar bears in vanilla because they're they're like dirty birds. They're not like crisp and white clean. OK, so that just kind of fuzzes him, softens him up a little bit. Does that make sense? Kind of a cool idea. And you can also do, I think I did pool party. So there I did, there I did the smoky slate and here I did them with pool party to give him just a little bit of a blue tinge. Um, and then I also had to give him some cute little cheeky cheeks because he's, he's cold, he's a winter bear. Okay, this guy here, same deal. He's got speckles on his boot. So, and speckles on his tum. So we'll just kind of come in there with some gray here and there. You could trace, like I said, the whole way around them if you wanted to, or just kind of go where there would be some shading. There you go, cutie. Cutie patootie. Maybe around your feet. Okay, then we'll bleed with the color lifter. Just be careful you don't hit the scarf because you don't want to you don't want to mess that up. Okay. 
All right, now we can punch him. Pop tarts, and we'll be ready to assemble our card. So hopefully this is fun. You guys might make some of these. It's not, it's not hard. It's kind of a wow technique, but it really is. He's gonna visit right here. He's leaving the scene. He's out. Um, okay, now I'm missing two pieces. Yeah, I've got a little strip here of that DSP just for color on the inside. Okay, so we'll, we will stamp this here in a minute. Now, sometimes the trick can come to how in the heck and heck am I putting this puppy together? So I'm making sure these are nice and crisp and I'm gonna add my adhesive to the back side. Don't worry, I mean, don't, don't be sparing on your adhesive. Terran tape may be a friend here or the seal plus, but I'm not grabbing that. Uh, just because <clears throat> it's a little bit of a stronger adhesive. I also want to make sure I'm putting the right, the right side on the right side. So I'm going to line it up here at the base with about the same in the middle. So this is my back. Okay. Now I can just take this and put more adhesive on. Perhaps wake up. You're sleeping on the job. And now you're just going to match up those. Now, it depends how you how your view is. You can try and go over top like this, or I will flip it this way and match it up top and uh, bottom. That's a little bit easier for me. Okay, now you're going to say the little prayer. See if it worked. Ta-da! Yes! All right, final step is, actually, we're just gonna quit right there. Final step is we're gonna add that merit. Oh, I can't quit, because you guys, somebody's gonna win this card. I was gonna say, I put my ink pads away. Don't stop. Merry Christmas. This belongs to somebody. Some lucky winner. Okay, now more dimensionals. And before I do that though, I'm gonna trim the edge off. Now we're cooking. Oh yay, thank you. I'm gonna show you I don't want to cover up any bears. So let's just go kind of here. There's a bear butt there. We can cover that up. Always cover up a bear butt, right? All right, so here we go. Let's not mess up somebody's beautiful project with all my ink everywhere. So there is our squeeze box card. Here it is. This is this is the one that I copied from. An, I mean, these are all copied from a demonstrator somewhere along the way, I'm sure. Um, but this, I think it's Susan Campfield, I think did this one. So there it is with the fall. <laughs> so there is all about autumn, same deal. Very cool. So you can make anything a squeeze box, right? So we've got that today we did. We did this one today with the fun fold, and then this one with the gift card holder. So those are our samples for today. And um, tomorrow I'm gonna do something cool. I have my idea already planned, and you'll wanna make sure that you come back to see what I am going to work with tomorrow for sure. So um, don't forget, this is still gratitude week, right? So I've got the daily prize patrol. I've got the prize, uh, grand prize. Everybody's winning everything that I made this week. We have our special uh, all about autumn designer or the all about autumn class. So we've got that. The, the uh, link will be in the description of the video for this class. Save $5 on this class when you use the promo code gratitude, okay? So when you go through registration, there will be a spot that says promo code 
type in gratitude and I'm giving you $5 off as my special thank you uh, for always being so awesome. All right, my loves, thank you so much for joining me. Mark your calendar for 10 a.m. tomorrow and come on back. I'll be here waiting for you. See you, everybody.